Hello everyone and welcome to another Funko Pop unboxing video. Today we have three pops from the new Harley Quinn line. Um, this is of course based on the Harley Quinn show from HBO Max, or just Max, now they're calling it. Um, the animated show, which is rated um, TVMA because it's very inappropriate, there's a lot of cursing, there's a lot of violence. Um, <laughs> it's a very fun show. Um, I'm very much behind on the show. I only watched the first two seasons. You know, when it was just two seasons, I literally binged the whole thing in like a couple days, and I loved it. Um, and it took a while for season three to come out. But during that time, I sort of just kind of forgot about the show. You know what I mean? So I really need to rewatch it. I think at this point they're on season five, I think, actually. I think their season five is coming out next. Um, so I really need to catch up. But uh, it's very cool that Funko made pops based on the show. I was wondering when this would happen, you know. Um, it's a no-brainer, in my opinion. So they made a total of, well, six, actually. This is an exclusive right here. Um, you get five different characters here, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and the Joker, which, of course, they're the three main characters of the show. And then, of course, you get Frank the Plant and uh, Dr. Psycho. <laughs> so I went ahead and just got these three because, you know, they're the three main characters, as I stated, and they're my three favorite characters. Um, even though the Joker is really a piece of shit in this show, um, like really, um, more so than other versions of Joker, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> but um, Frank the Plan and Doctor Psycho, they're they're fun characters, but you know, at, at this point, I have so many Funko Pops and so little space that I'm only gonna buy the ones that I really want. So yeah. Um, now, if they would have made like King Shark or maybe Clayface, I, I maybe would have bought them. You know what I mean? Um, they're more fun in my opinion or Bane you know <laughs> um, but there's a lot of characters on the show so if they end up doing a second wave I wouldn't be surprised so so yeah I just bought these three like I said um, this GameStop Poison Ivy is different obviously she's wearing her actual costume and she glows in the dark which is really cool um, I'll test that out on camera you know I am filming this in the daytime so it might not work but I'll try it anyway um, you know I do have light coming from my window but um Here's Harley Quinn, of course, voiced by uh, Kaylee Kuoko, and she does a fantastic job um, voicing the character. Very cool. And if you guys watch my channel, I don't need to say this, Harley Quinn, you know, she's my favorite DC character. I literally have, you can check on my channel, I have so many Harley Quinn pops, it's not even funny. Like, she's the most pops I own for one character, easily. Um, at this point, I don't know how many it is. It's got to be close to 20, you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and open her up. And probably, you know, in terms of Funkos, aside from, like, Freddy Funko, she's probably the character with the most pops, if you really think about it. Like, I can't think of another character that would have more pops than Harley Quinn. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of Batmans, obviously, and lots of other characters like that, but I think she probably has the record for most pops. So, I don't own every single one, obviously, you know, but uh, this one I had to get because, you know, it's from her show and she's fantastic. So <laughs> um, very cool. Uh, obviously very reminiscent of like the Suicide Squad. Um, Harley Quinn, of course, you got the, the blue and the, the pink going on there. But uh, I love this look. I think it's a great look. I love the... Uh, um, it's, it's not called a hammer. Uh, I'm blanking on the name, but you, you know what I mean. It's 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 her weapon. Um so, yeah, she looks awesome. I love it. I think it looks perfect, actually. And I love, too, that she's holding it like this. So, it's a really cool pose. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the Joker next. Of course, with his uh, undercut <laughs> haircut. So, yeah, he's a real menace in this show. Um, like, literally, in the first episode, I remember this guy. They established right away. Wow. <laughs> this guy sucks. So, but, uh, you know, I love me some Harley Quinn and Joker, so... Let's go ahead and uh, move the box out the way here. Now right, here's Joker. And his hair is really, like, wow. <laughs> Look at that. So, this very much reminds me of my animated series Joker. Got a very similar face and mouth, you know, going on. But, uh, of course, the hair is totally different. So, and I love to, he's got the little squirt plant thing right there. Squirt flower. So, very cool. Love this Joker. <laughs> and then we have Poison Ivy here, of course. The GameStop exclusive. Glows in the dark. Very, very cool. So, nothing too different on the box here. 
So let's go ahead and take her out of the package. And uh, I can't remember the voice actress's name, but she does the voice of um, of Black Widow on What If. And she's a really good stand-in for uh, Scarlett Johansson. She sounds just like her. Um, and she does a great job, obviously, as a Poison Ivy here. So here's Poison Ivy, looking really cool. I love the red hair. So They should also make Kite Man. <laughs> if you watch the show, you know why I thought of Kite Man. Um, he's a great character also. But, yeah, they should make him. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and shut off all the lights and see if that does anything. Let me see. Let me shut this one off. And let me shut it. i got a lot of lights. Bear with me. Yeah, it's still daylight outside, so let me see if I put her in a dark corner here. She glows. Uh, she's not really, well, she's kind of glowing a little bit in her face. It's hard to see on camera. But, uh, yeah, um... I should have filmed this at nighttime. Anyways, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's really about it. Those are the three Harley Quinn pops I bought. Um, who else should they make from the show, in your opinion? And um, what do you think of these guys? And uh, which is the best season, in your opinion? If you watch the whole show, let me know what the best season is. Um, I really loved seasons one and two, but I couldn't tell you which one was better. You know what I mean? It's been it's been a couple years at this point. So, But uh, I'm definitely going to get back into it soon. Um, just busy watching other things and, you know, playing Spider-Man 2 on PS5. So, <laughs> yeah, my free time right now isn't, isn't the most vast, but, um, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.